Hi there, it's Tanya from Tatted Treasures. So this is week three of the Winter Woodland. I'm still working with the <coughs> RT Maze kit. So what I'm doing uh, with the rest of the kit is I've got two what are going to be A5 um, <coughs> notebook journals. I've left the pages white uh, for writing and I just thought they went with the kit nice. So I've printed two pieces off in 200 GSM. So I am going to sew those together. But I'm wondering if to put a third one in just to make it a little bit more heavy because I am thinking about having a book plate on there. So we'll think about that in a bit. Um, so yeah, there's just going to be two, a um, stag one and an owl one. Um, to go with them, I'd got these uh, pieces of kit left, uh, what I made giant tags with <coughs> in the last project. So again, I've backed them with the 200 GSM. Um, I've inked this one round with that um, Dana, Dana Danadu <laughs> Danabu Blue is it? Yeah, Danabu. Oh dear, gets me every time. Um and I do like that because the other ones I did them all with the London fog, so I thought make a change and do that. So I'd forgot to round the corners off. So I'm gonna round the corners off on Am I? Ooh, no, I'm not because I don't think, will this go through here? Yes, it will. The only reason why I stopped is because, <clears throat> oh, that was with acetate, it's okay. Um, I can just remember um, trying to punch through some acetate when I did the shaker cards and my circle punch just wouldn't do it. But yeah, that was acetate, not... Um, uh, transparent paper I mean on the listing on Amazon it, that vellum is that is called tracing paper but it is a hundred GSM so it's you know very light vellum and it, it prints on lovely don't think that's very square let me just square that up i have got my dressing gown on if if you're wondering um it's a bit well it is it's very cold here Um we had a little bit of snow uh last week it didn't settle it snowed most of the day but um yeah it didn't settle the the ground was a little bit too too wet so it was very pretty though um, I was at, at work and in the upstairs department, which is like upstairs home, so um, bedrooms, um, half of the building is all windows um, and it was, it was stunning and luckily I was, I was working on home that, that day, um, and I was putting some some bedding away and stuff, so yeah, it was nice. Um, seeing it because normally when you're at work, you come out and sometimes you know you've not got a clue. It's like in summer when you come out and people go, oh, "It's been a lovely day," and you're like, "Has it?" Because um, I work in the back a lot, so we've actually got no windows in the back um so yeah you've not got a clue unless it's raining and you can air it it's in the roof um because it's like a, a steel kind of well i don't know if it's steel but it's some kind of metal uh building let me just have a drink of my tea so you can hear the rain um splatting on the on the roof right let me get my board out before i've gone too far so get that there so i'm just gonna
slip my dressing gown off because um, it's it's restricting my movements. So I'm going to go go around the edges with this. Um, this project isn't going to take all week, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to film for a couple of hours, um, but I will keep stopping the video, perhaps it like 40 minutes um, and then make it into a, a new video and just do them on on different days because I wasn't sure if I was going to film this or not because I'm not up to that much um, but apart from doing another uh, Tim Holtz video and a couple of Edith Alden videos I have actually finished um, all the projects that, that I'd laid out. Now that's not to say <laughs> that I haven't got more because um, in the meantime, you know, of course I've given myself more things to do. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm probably going to start working on the altered book um, right at the end of the year. I have printed some uh, lovely kits out from Nanine at College Type which um, I will do a flip through of. Right, let me just think. Haha. <laughs> so I'm going to cover these with vellum. Um, and I'm just going to keep one side open. So I'm guessing that's going to be tall enough. Yeah. I'm off thinking I don't know if to stick it down and then cut round it. But then. Let's. Let's just try this, see, see how it goes. If I can hold it with my finger. Um, then I could do it this way. I hope I'm not too far off uh, camera. Yeah, I'm not even going to try and um, put it by hand because... Come on, we all know I'm not very good at it. <laughs> and when I say I'm not very good at it, I'm not fibbing. I'm telling, I'm telling the truth. Um, yeah, I really just cannot see straight. Well, like I say, I do think it is because I'm partially sighted. Um, I think it's hard for me to judge um, distances and things like that. Um, and when I did try and learn how to drive... Um, and I kept saying to the instructor, are you sure I'm allowed to learn how to drive? Like, I, I just cannot see out of one eye. And they was like, oh, yeah, no problem. Um, but I felt so unsafe. Um, so I packed up because, yeah, distances and things like that. Um, I mean, playing sports at school and stuff was an absolute nightmare. Because um, I just couldn't work out how far people oh, was away and when they used to throw the ball at me. Um, yeah, I found it very difficult to, to suss out uh, when to put my hands up to actually catch, <laughs> catch the ball. So obviously as years went on and people realised, um, yeah, they obviously just used to throw the ball at me. So that wasn't nice. <laughs> oh, I hated PE. Really hated it. Because I, I wasn't, you know, the most athletic anyway. And then um, I'm just turning the volume down. I'd been listening to something. Um, oh, that's the right size. No, it isn't. Yeah, but I can get another. Hold on. I'm just, no, no. Ignore me. Um, yeah, so I wasn't athletic at all. And then, like I say, with the vision problems as well, it was... Um, oh, yeah, I just hated it. And um, obviously, teachers aren't, wasn't, um, aren't what they like. Oh, let me think about it. So I think I'm saying it back to front. Teachers are a lot different now to, to what they used to be. I mean, um, you know, I was at school in the 80s, so, I mean, I'm guessing it was even worse uh, before before then. 
um, but now um, obviously they're a lot more sensitive to people's um, disabilities and things like that I mean um, you know I don't I don't think well I know that they didn't they didn't see see me as having a disability um, but yeah I think it would be totally uh, different now and I think they'd be like too afraid not to be um considerate of it because um obviously you know people do make um complaints and that don't they about things things like that now whereas um you know back in the day so i will trim it um properly after it's stuck and um doo -doo -doo, stuck down and what's the other word and dry i am gonna say this after but with it being vellum and i'm not really going to be able to see what i'm doing as i'm sewing it um i don't want it to slip off and it be a mess so i am just going to put a small amount of of glue um around the side now silly me i've not even checked if um if this is too tall to go in those notebooks <laughs> hmm. um but when i first thought of doing this i i wasn't really thinking of them as being part of the book it was kind of like a separate element but now um i think about it again um i do think you know even if they're not fastened into the book i think they're going to need um to be clipped in or something so oh doesn't that look lovely it's um yeah it, as if it has really snowed and it's got that uh, milky milky look right so have I inked all around these? Yeah, I did, didn't I? I'm not busy um, waffling. That um, I totally forgot what I was what I was doing. So yeah, um, that's me and my sight anyway. So that justifies me not being able to cut in a straight line. That's what that's what I'm trying to get at. So yeah, when I when I do say that I can't cut straight, I, I really cannot. And in my mind, as I'm cutting it, it it's straight it, <laughs> until I really look at it. So I can't believe how long this uh, art glitter glue has has lasted me. You know, um, you know to say how much um I use it. I mean, I've been using it on and off camera. Um, it, it has become like my go-to glue. So it's just gone on and on to say it's just a small bottle. That is a little bit too short, but um, I really don't think it, it matters. Because it's all, all linked down the side anyway. I don't know if to try to do um, a circle... Um, is that my new one? Yeah, I think that'll be a bit too big. So I have now got the like one inch, one and a half inch and the two inch um, in these. I am wanting the two and a half inch as well. Um, <clears throat> and then I do think that'll cover all bases. Let me just lift this. Oh, before it sticks. Again, I was kind of thinking, oh, my punch isn't going to go through. It's probably not now, is it? Now I've drawn attention to it. Oh, it is. Isn't that weird? Uh, some, sometimes things do and sometimes things don't. Let's see if I can just get that up. So like I say, this hasn't got triv stuck down properly because I am going to sew, sew around it. That's it. And that one's a little bit too long, isn't it? One's too short, one's too long. 
Right, I am going to cut this down now because um, I want to see how far the semicircle goes in because it might not be enough once I've took this edge off. No, that's fine. Right, that's two done. Let's um, go around it again with the... We might have to knit in that up after by hand. See, as soon as you say, oh yeah, it, it will do it, then, then it doesn't. <laughs> They're temperamental, aren't they? Right, that's that one. All neat, ready for sewing. Um, I'm going to just do this by, by hand because I can just follow the the line round. I can say I'm not bad at fussy cutting at all. Um, my eyesight's fine for that. It is just going it straight. So two down, two to go. suppose I could have put some glitter on the inside but um, I think with pushing things in and out you would probably just keep um, knocking the glitter off anyway so I'm guessing that one was a bit narrow, narrower because um, these aren't all actually the same the exact same size um, I just you know when I cut them down I just cut them down with um you know looking at the main focal point kind of kind of thing <clears throat> i just did them around the same size so i've not lit my candle because um i've, I've brought the i was gonna call it a suitcase um, and it isn't even a sewing machine what's in a, suit, in a case, so I don't know why I said suitcase. Um, yeah, I've brought my um, sewing machine forward because um, that just lives at the back of my desk. And then I um, can just move it forward. Do sewing machines sometimes come with wheels? Not... Um, what would be on the floor but like what would be on your desk that you can keep it at the back of your <laughs> your desk like wheel it to the front and then put some your brakes on um, to keep it still while you're sewing because um, I do think that would be very handy um, because obviously I've not got to lift it far, but it's a bit of a oomph. Um, not like I, I want to buy a new sewing machine, but it was just something random that popped into my head. So, again, I don't know why I didn't. You know the next one I'm going to do <laughs> before I stick it down. Right, that's that. Okay, um, one left. Right, come on. Stop messing about. That's better. Right, let's do this. So after I've done this, I'm going to sew them round. I'm going to try and uh, twist the camera round. I don't think you're going to get the, the greatest um, view of the sewing machine, but um, yeah. I think I'll start sewing and then I'll pause it because, um, yeah, you don't want to watch me sew four of four of these. I'm not a slow uh, sewer, but I'm not the world's fastest either. But um, I think once you've seen somebody sewing on a machine, you've seen them. Unless, you know, somebody's got a really good camera set up that you can... Um, actually see because when i did have my um sewing machine at first i did watch a few videos um of people sewing not junk journalers just sewing in in general um just to know how it all worked 
Um, oh, I had to watch videos. I had to, <clears throat> you know, change a bobbin and change the needle and get the thread all around the sewing machine and everything. So, obviously, there is channels that that do, you know, show you really good close-ups of, of these things. Um, and that isn't, it's not this channel. <laughs> so if, if you do need that kind of, um, you know, tutorial, these them are there, because cause I've watched them. Right, so that is that. Not, not very straight, that. Um, I don't think that's made it much better, but you're really not going to see it once um, once it's got stitching around it. Right, I'm just going to pop these out of the way, if I can get the pin in. So that goes there. Let's put those over there. Oh, you know my two-inch one? I've actually broke this mechanism. Um this bit snapped off but now I, I realize that you've got to close it properly before you do that action um so yeah <laughs> it took me a while to, to realize uh, that that's how it how it did it so let's get all these bits that's that i'll just pop those over there move my pencil Right, I'm just just drink my tea. So I'm just gonna move over slightly. Close your eyes if you get a little bit seasick. Yeah, maybe that's that's not a bad angle really. Then if I bring it forward a bit, <laughs> I probably won't even be able to sew now. Now I'm on film, everything's going to go wrong. I bet you my bobbin runs out and all sorts. Right, so turn it on. And I've got to remember not to sew down that side. So I'm going to start at the bottom. And I want to kind of start on the bottom corner um because i want to catch that uh, because i think that will save it you know peeling peeling up so let me just check that i have got it on a uh, zigzag and i have um this machine only does do zigzag and normal stitch i think it does something a bit more fancy but i do i think you need a different foot and yeah so i'm just gonna start off slow so i can get around that corner and i'm gonna bring my needle down and then i'm gonna pop the foot up to straighten it and then pop it back back down and this side here i just keep that lined up um there's like a mark on on the foot so i just follow that and I've got a lovely blue cotton in it. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me or not. So I'm just starting slowly to bring my hand round to, to curve this next curve. And once I start getting into it, I'll bring my foot back up, take it back down again. And I will do it by hand for one stitch. Turn it again. I'll do it by hand again turn it again so I'm back on back on straight straight and narrow and then this is a nice easy straight up and I'm not pushing the card through I'm just guiding guiding it through the machine does does all the work I'm approaching that corner again so I'm going to start and slow down and I'm just going to bring the foot up slightly I have run out of 
I've run out of bobbin. So I'm going to pause now, change the bobbin, and I will finish them, them off. See you in a sec. <laughs> okay, so I've sewn all those, uh, and I've re-inked around. So I've just left this one. I need to be careful because I've not put, put my mat back on. Um, so I'm going to ink around. Just going to lift that up and just get around the, the little finger hole so you can see it a little bit better. Um, I don't know how long this ink will take to dry. Maybe it will never dry. That's the point. <laughs> hmm. No, it's fine. Right, so we'll put that over there. Right, I need to have a little think about what to do next. Let's see if they, yeah, they just fit. So I'm not sure because I've done two for each one. I don't know if to just pin them in or if to sew them uh, or stick them in. Not sure. So we'll see how thick they get with the things. I have uh, chosen <clears throat> some things to go in them. So I am just going to sit here and make sure they're all uh, cut properly because I've said it a million times, but when I'm cutting a lot of things, um, I tend to rough cut it because... Some of the things I won't, I don't use. Um, some projects I use every single thing, but then other things I don't. So I tend not to cut everything out really uh, great because um, I just think it's a little bit of waste of time if, if you don't then end up using them. So and normally they only need a little bit of of something. So I'm going to go around those, um, I'm going to just sit here, do these and then I will come come back to you. So see in the tech. Okay, I've trimmed everything <coughs> up neatly and this is the way I've decided to do it. So they're both going to have two each, like I said. Um, <coughs> in this one, there's going to be an envelope which I need to stick and I think there's three, four... So there's two postcards and two journal cards. So <clears throat> I'm not going to do anything to those. I think they're fine and they've got the lovely ink in it around them. So they're done. <clears throat> I'm just going to glue down the envelope. So these have been sent back into the printer and printed on the back side with um, the tea and coffee digital from Ali, the Cockney Crafter. It's a really nice uh, digital. There's some lovely um, lacy imprints and that. And I, I do use that um, on most, you know, most backings. So that's the envelope done I just <clears throat> just gonna go around the flap that's it so I pop that in there again I've not <clears throat> decided if I'm going to glue them in or if I'm just going to uh, clip them in so We'll see <coughs> about that, but for now, I'll just put that one to one side. <clears throat> Same with this one. It's got four journal cards and the envelope. So we'll glue that, and that's and that one done. I'll just put a little bit of ink around that and clear there was enough on. So 
that's that one so I'll put that to one side um in the ones that will well, go in the front or the back <coughs> there's three uh tags in those so I am going to ink around these because um a lot of these tags was you know the ones that you can use as double tags or cut them um apart so um the sides haven't got any kind of inking on them so i'm just gonna i'm guessing i'm gonna have to put a bit more ink on it i don't think this can keep keep going and going but it, it's done well surprising how much is still still on your sponges right so that's done those ones oh no please don't fall all these inks i don't know if to get like a glass fish bowl thing and have them in there but i just think it's going to be such a pain to to get them but just keeping them stacked up is well it drives me mad because every time i get one i always put the ones that i want on the top so it's not like i'm having to search through them but um yeah they're just like leaning tower of pizza pizza so i'll just go around there i have got a lozenger um in my mouth because um my throat was starting to to dry up i'm getting ready for a, a cup of coffee so i think the next time i pause i will go and make myself a, a drink so i'm thinking because they're going in the pouches um obviously putting you know like material tops and that's not going to be a, a great idea so there is some tabs in the kit so i'm going to have a look at those and see if um see what they look like on top so i've just got the kit to the left hand side of me what i've got left so there's a few tabs there i'm going to need six aren't i aha uh -huh. that was lucky so let me just pop my glasses on no, they need it. And they, they need a bit of a wipe. They've been on on top of me head. Right. So I'll we'll cut these out. Um why I was trimming the tags up um and going through the pile of stuff that I wanted to, to put in with these uh notebooks. Um, I've got a white envelope like I did last week um, when I did the pouch sets. So I'm going to stencil that the same. Um, and I've got, if you remember, we did the shaker cards, but they were circle ones. Well, I've got a couple in like baubles. So I'm going to do the shaker cards again. Um, hopefully I can remember how not to do it. <laughs> but like I say, even the way that I did it, it still ended up turning out all right anyway. Uh, because once we put that hole in um, for the eyelet, a lot of the glitter came out anyway. So it did actually work out all right. Um, because now I'm actually thinking, how did I say it? I was going to do it because obviously you've got to glue them round. Oh, I think I said glue them first, didn't I? Glue all round and just keep it a bit at the top, but let it dry. Oh, okay. I will. T <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm answering myself back. <laughs> first sign. Um, so, yeah, I think then keeping that in mind, I might stick those um next well not next next but uh and leave those to dry because i'm obviously gonna have to get the acetate out and stuff and i'd i'd not really thought um that far in advance but now i'm thinking um so yeah i think that'll be the next uh 
job ish but um yeah so i was thinking so where are they going to um sit live kind of thing um and then i thought i might do an envelope in the middle of the notebook um so i've just printed off two pieces of vellum in one of the backing papers from the kit and i'm just going to i folded them down and and cut them just a bit shorter than a5 so i shall keep those open sew them in and once the journal's sewn up um, then I will glue the envelope down and then the bauble if I don't attach it to because I might attach it to the front cover you know I might put a, um, an eyelet in and have it on a ball pen and um, have it on the front cover that's an idea but um, yeah I want to include some pockets with um with this set so the mid uh, the envelope in the middle can have some uh, pockets in inside it so then it's your notebook and you've got you know your tags and your journal cards and your pockets all in one and then you can put them put them all in your in yourself So, nearly there, nearly there. We don't even know what these are going to look like, do we, on these tags? And here's me, I'm still cutting out. <laughs> Committed to getting all cut out. I don't often use um, the tags that match the kits because um, I obviously use the ones that, that Violet makes for me. But um, yeah, for this kit, I thought I'd, I'd use them. So let's have a look what they're gonna look like so they might, they might want cutting down a little bit just going to cut this one down just a little bit because I think that tag that I've just picked up I think that's the littlest and I don't know why but this can't be folded properly because there's a, a bit sticking up each each side right What I don't like about doing these is obviously because that bit's not very wide. You've then got to go inwards and then you've got that funny bit of tag sticking, sticking up and I really don't like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't. I think this is why I don't use the mat of kits. I don't. I don't like them. <laughs> um. Yeah. I just don't like them. So yeah. Thanks for sitting with me and um. <laughs> why I cut those out? But um. Yeah. I'm not using them. So back to square one. Um. What we're gonna do with them? Let's have a look what, um, I'm just going to plug my charger in just in case because I've been on pause a while and it does sap your battery up so we're on charge. Um, I'm just reaching around to get the um, you know 
thingamabobs. So let's have a look. These are going to be all different, <laughs> different ones. Um, I might have to pause in a minute and just come back and go, da da, I've done it. <laughs> so, yeah, I much prefer that. So, we use that for that. I think they're different. I did want to get all these single ones used up because, um, yeah, I've mixed them. Mixed them all up. So that's the same as that. So that's that one. What does that look like on, on this one? Yeah. I'm on, I could have. No, I don't like that. Is that the same shape? Yeah, so there's the big one and the medium one. Maybe they'd be good for the for the small one. Let me see if I can there's one so I need another set there's one and I think I think that's one yes right I'm gonna pause now just stick stick these on um and then think what 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 bit in fact i'm going to end the video here because we have got to just over 41 minutes and then <clears throat> uh, when we come back tomorrow um i'll have done the tops so the vellum pockets will be complete and then we'll start with something new so thanks for joining me. Um, happy Monday and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye for now.